Hello viewers, this is lecture 8 from the series Differential Equation and Discrete Mathematics. In my previous class, we have discussed integrating factor and we have seen how we can convert an exact equation, non-exact equation having a function to an exact equation by multiplying integrating factor. So now we will discuss certain kind of differential equation uh, and certain integrating for uh, integrating factor for them to convert them into an exact equation and to solve them further so this i categorized into rules there are six rules so first uh, in this session we will see rule one now rule one says that if you have a equation if you have a equation of this form m dx plus n dy equal to zero which is more importantly homogeneous and it satisfies the condition that xm plus yn is not identically equal to zero then the integrating factor is given by this function that is one upon xm plus yn so we will see uh, examples based on this let me consider this example we will see whether this belongs to rule one or not for that we need to first see whether the given uh, equation okay first always you need to verify whether it is exact or not if it is not exact then uh, we will have to use any of the rule to convert it into exact if it is exact you can directly solve this so now <coughs> here your m is directly given as xy and n is given as minus x square minus 2y square so when you differentiate this do m by do y and uh, you will see that this is same as x and do n by do x that same as minus 2x so you see that do m by do y is not equal to do n by do x and this tells us that the given equation i'll call this as one is not e exact one is not exact and so we will uh, see whether we can find any method to or whether we will see whether this falls under uh, the rules and then we can find any exact equation so first thing we need to know whether uh, this given equation is ex uh, homogeneous or not so for that m is given to be xy so uh, here m is your so in fact this can be written as dy by dx is equal to dy by dx is equal to m by n n by m so we will check whether this n and m are homogeneous or homogeneous function of same degree so for that i'll have to see i'll have to replace x by uh, tx and y by ty so we get tx into ty and that same as saying t square into xy that is same as saying t square into m of x comma y so this is homogeneous of degree 2 same way n of tx comma ty it's same as minus t square x square replacing x by tx and minus 2 t square y square again you can take t square out and whatever will remain inside the bracket is n of x comma y so this tells us that this suggests us that given equation 1 is homogeneous as m and n are homogeneous of the same degree that is 2 next we need to see whether xm plus yn is non-zero now xm plus yn over here is that xm will be same as xm will be same as x square y and yn will be same as minus x square y minus 2y cube that's is equal to minus 2y cube which is not equal to zero not identically equal to zero and hence we can state an integrating factor for this so it is of the form rule one as you can see that this equation is homogeneous as m and n are homogeneous of same degree and xm plus yn is non-zero so i can write down the integrating factor for this so integrating factor is thus therefore integrating factor is one upon xm plus yn which is same as one upon minus 2y cube right and multiplying this integrating factor to 1 
the given equation will get converted into exact equation you don't have to check it again multiplying if to 1 we have we get an <coughs> exact ordinary differential equation which is given by okay so m is x y so the first term will be x y by minus 2y cube dx and the next term is n is x square plus 2y square upon you'll have uh, that minus into minus will get cancelled so plus 2y cube into dy is equal to 0 so this is the exact equation uh, I'll write down the uh, coefficient of dx is m1 because that is required to find a solution and n as I'll split the term the first term is x square upon 2y cube and the next term is 2 2 gets cancelled 1 upon y so that's your m1 and that's your n1 so this is an exact equation hence the solution to this equation that is I'll call this as 2 so the solution to 2 is given by given by you all know the formula it's integral of m1 with respect to x so that is same as that is same as minus x upon 2y square dx plus integral of those terms of n1 which is independent of x and there is only one term that is 1 by y this term contain x dy is equal to constant the value the answer the final answer should be minus x square by 4y square plus log of y is equal to c so that's a solution for uh, that's a solution for uh, equation 2 and in turn it's a solution for equation 1 so this is how we solve the given differential equation let me take one more example Sol x square y minus 2xy square dx minus x cube minus 3x square y dy is equal to 0. So first job, first thing we need to see whether the given equation is exact or not. Because this is in the form of m dx plus n dy equal to 0. So m in this case is x square y minus 2xy square and n is minus x cube plus 3x square y you will see that dou m by dou y is same as x square minus 4xy and dou n by dou x is same as minus 3x square plus 6xy so here we conclude that dou m by dou y is not equal to do n by do x hence the given equation is not exact now you can see that m is x square y minus 2xy square and n is x cube minus plus 3x square y just by looking at the observation you can see that m and n are homogeneous of degree degree see from the first m when you replace x by tx and y by ty, you can remove a t cube from here, same way from t cube over here. Same way from here, you can remove t cube. So, it's a homogeneous of degree 3. You can check it. And uh, so, hence, the given equation 2 is homogeneous differential equation. Now, Next thing I need to see whether xm plus yn is not equal to 0. If it is not equal to 0, I can say that this falls under rule 1 and so I can uh, say that the integrating factor is 1 by xm plus yn. So in this case, xm plus yn is, you can uh, see that it will be same as x square y square 
which is not equal to 0 and so the integrating factor is 1 by x square y square so multiply this integrating factor to the given equation we get the new differential equation which is exact so uh, I'll write down directly the term m1 m1 will be multiplying integrating factor to the old m so that is same as uh, m is x square y minus 2xy square upon x square y square so this is same as writing 1 by y minus 2 by x and the new n1 will be same as minus x cube plus 3x square y the whole thing by x square y square and so you get over here minus x by y square plus 3 by y and so the equation of hence the equation of 2 hence the solution of 2 is given by integral of m1 with respect to x so that is same as integral of 1 by y minus 2 by x dx plus the integral of n1 integral of terms of n1 not containing x this contain x this does not contain x so i'll consider 3 by y is equal to c and so this is same as x by y minus 2 into log of x plus 3 into log of y is equal to c that's the final solution to the given differential equation in the next class we will discuss some more rules okay and we will discuss some more problems on that rule